Uh, hey there, it's David Kramer, the Critical Thinking Christian, and today I want to talk about, I got a rant. I got a rant. I mean, I am in a fucking fall mood. Uh, my parents, okay? Me and my parents, we get along, okay? Uh, there's times, though, that um, thinking about the past bullshit that I had to go through um, was, you know, kind of sets me the fuck off. But, you know, today uh, I, I get, I buy uh, uh, certain things on Amazon. They want, uh, my mom wants, and then I buy it, and then they pay me and stuff like that. So I went down there today, and um, when I went inside, me and my dad were talking about the washing machine and the, the, the drainage and stuff like that. When I went upstairs and I went to the kitchen, my mom had the Bible open, and I thought, oh, fuck me. Um, I, I thought, I hope she don't try to get me to, you know, have devotions. Now, none of them realize that they, they don't know anything about me deconverting. And they're in their 80s, and this would not, you know, this would be a, I don't want to hear it. Well, well, it's real and blah, blah, I don't f fuck you, okay? But she had the Bible open, and she said, yeah, she said, I was, I was doing my devotions. I was reading about all the pe bad people that are going to be burned up, and all the good people are going to walk over their ashes. Yeah, okay, great. You know, love one another, treat people with kindness, okay, shit like that. Now, believe me, I'm not one of those people that, believes that you got to do that if it you if you got an asshole treat him like an asshole okay i i think we ought to have laws where you're allowed to smack people if during covid and i know some of you might watch this and get all bent out of shape if you were a pro mask pro vax pro social distance you're a fucking bitch okay We need to be like our fucking ancestors, okay? Okay, the Vikings, you think the Vikings, you know, were, would have, you know, hey, you better wear your mask. Yeah, go fuck yourself, okay? Now, good thing is, I'm drinking some beer here. But, you know, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, kill all the bad people, burn them up, and uh, walk over their ashes, okay? She was bitching about that, and bitching about this. And, and here's the thing, okay? Uh, if you're a Christian, that there is what's called backbiting, okay? You're wishing ill will on people. You want people to be destroyed, Okay, they talk about, my mom will talk about uh, the people that are, are going to burn in hell. Okay, well, that's great. You know, I there are people that I don't like that are complete shit fucks. And, okay, government, I hate government. Most of them I put in the ground. But I wouldn't want them to go to hell. I want them to get, I believe in reincarnation. You get reincarnated, that's more compassionate, more just just because you will have to deal with whatever you got to deal with in the next life for what you did in this life. Sometimes in this life, karma or or what goes around comes around, uh, you know, fuck around, find out kind of shit. Okay? You know, she's talking about that kind of shit. And uh, my, my cousin's wife is uh, an alcoholic. Whenever she can drink wine, she drinks wine. She's always drinking wine. She always got to have wine with her and, and all that stuff. And it, it, it kind of is, it messes up the family. And well, you know, uh, you know, she considers herself a Christian. Okay. That there's, there's virtue signaling involved too. Uh, she, they talk about the people that go to the bars and the people that have the, the, the sex and, and the people that are on drugs and, and all that shit. And, you know, it's pretty much like, I don't do that. I'm a good Christian. That's me. I'm, I'm good. Those people are bad. But, see, uh, I don't know if I ever said this. When I was growing up, I was pretty much under house arrest. I didn't have friends. 
There was no chance when I was going to school that I was ever going to get a girlfriend. Because I was a kid, I wanted freedom, and you act out in ways. And if you and if you're under tyranny, and I was under tyranny because my dad made sure that I was scared of him at an early age, and my mom was overprotective. And I was a sensitive kid. And I took everything me that I'm a piece of shit. I believed that I'm a piece of shit. Okay? I'm not the best looking, but I'm not the worst looking. I got a lazy eye. I got a fucking teeth that are crowded in because my uh, wisdom teeth came in and they, they, my sister got the braces. I didn't. So I do have flaws, but, you know, I don't consider myself to be horrible. I know there was one asshole on here who commented about my lazy eye. And if you watch this video, were you, could you maybe, I'll give you my address. Uh, you come to my house and I'll take you out in the woods and, you know, make you dig your own fucking hole so you have a fucking place on my property. All right. But anyway, I was under house arrest. I didn't have friends. The way I acted was never going to get me any girls. I didn't have any luck with women. Uh, and I grew up with a lot of complexes of feeling like I am a worthless piece of shit. My dad was never, he was a perfectionist. What he came out of with his childhood, he brought into the marriage too, just like my mom. Uh, it brought stuff into the marriage, made her overprotective, and it made him a perfectionist tyrant. So I was pretty much, any initiative was just gone when I was young. And I really didn't take initiative because my dad was the type that something had to be done. I'm taking you here. I'm doing this. We're doing that. You're going here. So he did that most of my young life. And into my you know, late teens and late teen years. And then he expected me to uh, take initiative when I pretty much had no initiative. I had, I ran, had to run everything by them. They had a yes or no, and most of it was no. So I grew up feeling pretty much like a worthless piece of shit. Um... I got into adulthood, and, be, and and here's the thing. These two people are Christians. They don't drink. They don't smoke. They're not sexually promiscuous. They don't do all that bad stuff. No, they don't do the bad stuff that everybody considers bad. They do the bad stuff that they can keep hidden. People that do bad stuff, okay, that they can keep hidden, where maybe every now and then they get caught, but it's rare, okay? And, and they did get a couple times, and, and then my dad would want to cry and give me a hug and a kiss, and I didn't want any of that. And then later in later years, he said, you never wanted a hug when you were younger. Well, you're hugging and kissing and acting like you're going to change, and I knew as a kid, a week later, you're going to be an asshole again. No, uh, sorry, I, I'm not into hugging. Uh... But the hypocrisy and the bullshit, just because you believe that you're a good person, okay? <clears throat> Christianity is like every religion. It's a fucking cult, okay? There are people out there, and I said this before, that are naturally good people. They're not putting on a show. They're not pretending. They are naturally good people. Okay, there are people out there in the world that are naturally bad, psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists. They're just fucking complete shit fucks. Okay, then there's us, uh, us in the middle and all that stuff. Okay, and it's normal, natural. Okay, but man, the, the bullshit that people tell themselves in Christianity. Any religion, I'm a good person and you're a bad person and Jesus done blah, blah, fuck you. Okay, I see it this way. You know, if, if my cousin's wife wants to be a drunk and it ends up bad, that's what happens. Okay, my mom even said something about uh, neighbors that met people, uh, the guy met his woman at a, at a bar. 
and that's a dump, and all that blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, they've been together for a long time. I know how the marriage was when I, I was younger, arguing and bitching and yelling and all that kind of crap. I mean, what the fuck? What, what, what did you have a perfect marriage because you were Christians? Well, well, no, everybody has a bad day and you're just as the same as everybody else. You're not, you're, you, you're not saved. Guess what? Nobody gets born again. There is no such thing as getting born again. Okay? I do believe there's a God. I believe that there might be uh, uh, reincarnation. That, is, to me, is a more just, compassionate way. That way, you can get better in each life. Okay? You know, I, I grew up for most of my life feeling worthless, low self-esteem, just, you know, until 2019 when I decided I'm going to get out of it. I get, get unstuck, as they say. I created a channel, David, uh, called Kramer Unstuck. And for a time, I did biblical stuff on there, you know, because I knew the Bible pretty good and I thought I'm going to teach the Bible to Christians. Not anymore, because in 2020, I deconverted. You know, fuck you. Um, you know, I like drinking. My mom was just talking about my, uh, my cousin's wife drinking. Well, I'm drinking, you know. Uh, and that was 2019, and here 2022 has been my best year. But I still deal with uh, feelings of, you know, worthlessness. I mean, you know, I still have the, that low self-esteem shit come in. And I, I, I fight it. I got I fight it. I just gotta fight it every fucking day. I don't want people coming on this channel and commenting and going, hey man, it'll be alright. I don't like that shit. Okay? I'm a man. Okay? In this day and age, we got too much tender fit fucking sissy bitch motherfuckers who need to be beat, who need to be taken and put up against the wall and go, you better grow a pair of balls. I, I feel depressed, I feel sad, I feel worthless, I feel whatever. I need to get out of that because guess what? I'm feeling that way because I worked at that. Okay, that's what I believed. I believed a lie. So what I have to do is unbelieve that fucking lie. Okay, so this is kind of a, a critical thinking Christian Kramer unstuck, you know, whatever. I might put this, I'm going to put this on both channels. But the, the critical thinking Christian, which I, I said this before, it's a play on words. Okay? Before, I wasn't a critical thinking Christian. I just went along and read and studied the way I was taught. When I started critically thinking about it, I realized it's bullshit. And any Christian that comes on here and decides to chirp, chirp, chirp about the truth, fuck you. Okay? You know, <gasps> well, he's bad. I don't think he was ever a Christian. No, I don't think anyone's a Christian in the saved by grace bullshit. There is no such thing. But that's the thing with you Christians. You know, those people, meaning I'm good. Oh, no, that's not one of me. Yes, it is. You know, So yeah, that brought a lot of shit back. And I was, I tell you, I was sitting there and I was like, inside I was like, God motherfucking damn. I mean, fucking Jesus fucking Christ. You know, with a fucking stake up his ass. I mean, gosh, people, they, they don't, she don't hear herself talk. And that's how she's always been. And if she has a Holy Spirit inside of her, don't you think the Holy Spirit would actually go, listen, you got to stop this. This ain't right. But she don't have a Holy Spirit inside of her because there is no such animal. So, there. I got that off my chest. 
I'm probably going to continue to think about it during the day. You know, I got that punching fucking bag behind me. You know, I'm going to go off on that a few times. You know, sit here, you know, maybe drink some beer, maybe do a little bit of work. And after a while, I'm going to go, motherfucker, and come in here and start cracking the fucking bag. You know, you know that, that's better than years ago when I got mad and I would kick computers down halls. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I have. I mean, hey, if you had one of them childhoods where you were a Christian and you had all kinds of fucking goddamn requirements and laws and rules that kept you down, just comment and say, you know, I don't know, fuck them all, okay? So, that's pretty much all I got right now, and, uh, Yeah, Critical Thinking Christian and Kramer Unstuck. Until next time.